we asked some Oxford University graduates. Should we go with the classic tactic, just answer B to everything? Yeah, it has to work. To take the life in the UK test. That should be what this test is, is just like, how many <laughs> Monty Python quotes can you get? And here's what happened. Bring on the questions. True or false, the Lake District is the largest national park in England. Gosh. Um, trying to think of all the national parks. I would guess it's false. Because I, I would have thought, like, the... Um, I would have thought, is Dartmoor a national park? Yeah, or, like, I think in so. North Yorkshire moors? I would have guessed Yorkshire. I would think Yorkshire's big. York. Huh? Lake District in Yorkshire. But... but isn't there another one? There's a, yeah, the Yorkshire Dales. Isn't well, the that Yorkshire bigger? Moors. I would have thought Yorkshire Moors was bigger. Okay. I'll go, I'll go false. I don't think it's the biggest, even if I'm not sure what one is bigger. Yeah. Yeah. You're going false. Oh. Oh, no. Nightmare. <laughs> True. Oh. You can serve on jury up to the age of 80. True or false? I'm going to guess True. I guess you can, but is there a maximum age? Like, does that question mean that after the age of 80, you can't? Maybe. I feel like most things have an age limit, so I wouldn't be surprised. Most things have a minimum age limit, but to put a maximum on it's pretty strange. It does seem like an odd law. I'm going to go with true, actually. I'm feeling it Ooh. on a hunch. I reckon it's false. I you can't see why there'd be a maximum age. Right, we stand divided. Okay, let's go with yours. Let's say. Really? You reckon? Yeah, but Amazing. if you're wrong, you owe me. No! <laughs> wrong. Oh, no, I owe you. <laughs> a public vote in 2002 decided that Winston Churchill was the greatest Britain of all time. I know that that happened. I don't I know if it was in 2002. Happened. But someone was saying that yesterday. I was chatting. Oh, um, cultured conversation. Well, that <laughs> happen occasionally. Um, <laughs> but also, I don't know if it's greatest Britain or greatest Englishman. Oh. And I don't know if they would be separate things. But I reckon also, you go with true because it would seem a bit nitpicky if it was like, oh, it was actually in two thousand and five. That would be insane. I reckon we go with true. You um, know, yeah, I I'll go with that. True. <laughs> Amazing. Mr. Churchill. In 1805, at the Battle of Trafalgar, Admiral Nelson defeated the German fleet. I feel like the Battle of Trafalgar was against Napoleon. Mm, yes. So which would have been French. Would have been about 1805, I can believe that. Because Napoleon was defeated in Russia in 1812. So 1805 would have been... Yeah, that sounds about right, but I would have been yeah. a friend, so it's false. I think. I'd have to be around the time Napoleon was there. But you know, a lot of countries sort of helped each other out in wars as well. Yeah, but I would have thought that they were like, they were, would have been called the French, because Napoleon was pretty like all or nothing power-wise. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go with false on that. <laughs> Definitely, yeah, let's go with false then. Oh, we're bossing this. Cruising through this. The Union flag comprises four crosses. One for each part of the United Kingdom. That's true. That is true. That is true. Easy. Yeah. <laughs> if that's wrong, that'd be embarrassing. <laughs> wrong. Wrong. Right. Oh no. Is it two crosses? One for Scotland and one for England? Three. England. But then there'll be You've got the English one, the Scottish one, the cross across. Three crosses. So there's no Welsh oh. bit. Oh, that's brutal. I was lulled into a false sense of security. Um, which language was spoken by people during the Iron Age? Uh, no so, idea. Like, oh, um... What, oh, Saxon? Celtic? I'm happy to go with either of those. I do. <laughs> we can't go for both. Celtic or Saxon? <laughs> um, it's Celtic if it's... Celtic, Celtic, sorry. But, um, if I was writing it down, I wouldn't have to. <laughs> Pronunciation wouldn't be an issue. Should we go Celtic? Yeah, let's go with Celtic. Hooray! Oh. Oh, dreams. Yeah! 
Which two patron saints day occur in March? I have no idea. I'm going to... So, when is St George's Day and when is St Patrick's Day? I have no idea. Oh, actually, St Patrick's is in March, I think. You know what? I'm feeling like one of those have to be in March. Should we just go with both of those? If we've got to go two. (laughs) The only two we know. Great. We're going to go with St Patrick's and St George. St David and St Patrick. St Patrick. Boost that. I'll take that. Yeah, I will. (laughs) St David. Oh, which country did Germany invade in 1939 that led to UK declaring war on Germany? Austria. No, it was either Poland or Czechoslovakia. Poland. I can't remember which oh, one. I think it's Poland. No. Which no, one was Czech- first. Czechoslovakia. Yeah, because I think they but saw. Hang on. They invaded one, and then the Brits were like, hang on, no, if you invade another country, we'll go to war with you. So I think it would. they invaded Czechoslovakia. Back here, and then it was if you invade Poland. Poland, no, yeah, that would be. So should we go to no, Poland? No, no, yeah. I will go with Poland then, because I think they definitely invaded Czechoslovakia first, which is why I sort of was leaning to that. But no, if, if they kind of let that lie until Poland, then. Oh! Right, Dylan Thomas was a famous writer and poet from which country? Wales. Wales. Yeah. Right, I'll go with that then. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Imagine it'd be so much better if people could squad up during these exams. Just imagine doing this alone. <laughs> I feel like you'd doubt yourself a lot more as well. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Need a phone a friend option or a you know fifty <laughs> fifty game show. Which colonies of the British Empire decided to declare their independence in seventeen seventy six? Is it the US? Like, Sheep give or take a hundred years? I'm really not sure. I feel like the 1700s is when the US things were happening, or was it not more in the 1800s? I'm not sure. Let's go with US. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, great! <laughs> Why is Sir Edwin Lutyens famous? I haven't even heard of him. Like, at all. I don't know like inventing something like did they invent like a cotton mill how specific does this have to be <laughs> i don't know like it's a bit of a shot in the dark let's go with invented a like cotton mill 20th century architect when was the last successful invasion of england well this must have been by the french surely Statistically, Statistically. <laughs> probably was. Battle of Waterloo. Should we go that with that? No, because we had that earlier, and the English no. defeated the French at Waterloo, so they the didn't English invade. Did. Uh, um, uh, William the like, Conqueror. Has, there, has, has anything been invented? Um, sorry, invaded since 1066. 1066. I don't think so. Um, oh, no, no, if it's invasion of England. It could be by Scotland. I was thinking this, but I don't think the Scottish have successfully invaded England. Have they Sorry, not? if Scots have. Point? I don't think so. I reckon we go 1066. Yeah, we'll go with that then. Let's go with that. Oh, correct. Oh, right. Dreams. <laughs> Do you remember that advert? Um, oh, classic. Oh, wait, 1066. What is the minimum age for jury service? Like 18, I guess. That would make sense. I don't think it'd be young as 16. It's going to be 18 or 21. Ooh, I would go with 21 then, actually. Yeah? Yeah, can you imagine a bunch of 18-year-olds going to court? <laughs> yeah, but on the other side of the bar. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's go 21 then, yeah. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with 21. <laughs> oh. Eight, oh, sorry, my bad. That's all right. In 1999, what happened... To hereditary peers in the House of Lords. A. Their numbers were greatly increased. B. Their salaries were stopped. C. Women were allowed to inherit their titles. And D. The lost, they lost their automatic right to attend the House of Lords. My instinct is D because I know that that's something that happened. 
And I can like, imagine that happening quite Lord, recently. Like, all lords used to be able to, like, hereditarily go and serve in the House of Lords, and then now they can't. So I would go with D on that. Yeah, D as well. More likely than the rest. We'll go with D. Correct. Ooh. What were the names of the two main groups in Parliament in the early 18th century? A. Whigs, B. Labour, C. Nationalists, and D. Tories. So presumably we've got to guess two of them. Right, I know I this one. Whigs and Tories. The Whigs and the Tories. Uh, a and D. This is from the classic, we love a BBC history documentary. It's doing me a solid now. <laughs> Correct. Oh. Textile and engineering firms recruited workers from which two countries after the Second World War? South Africa, Canada, India, or Pakistan? I would guess it would be India, Pakistan. Just because, like, Britain still does have relatively high Indian and Pakistani populations, whereas there's not, like, a large population of South Africans or Canadians that I can Mm. think of, like, in a particular area. Yeah, and I feel like they have more of like a history of textiles. Don't know. Let's go with C and D. Yeah, C and D. Oh. Who opens the new parliamentary session each year? A, the Archbishop of Canterbury. B, the Prime Minister. C, the Speaker of the House of Commons. And D, the Monarch. I think it's C or D, but I'm not sure which. I'm going to go with C. I feel like... I'm just trying to remember, remember when Bojo, like, closed Parliament for a bit and, like, there was this whole pomp and circumstance of it closing. I thought there was something, some kind of royal element to that, but maybe not. Really? I didn't, I don't remember that. I um, think with the Speaker, because the Speaker does do stuff to do with that. Just, they do quite a lot. Yeah. So, C. Oh. oh, no! You're right, stuff. again, we've... sorry. How did you find the process? What are your thoughts? But I don't think we passed. Like, we, I, uh, we did better than I expected. That is true. I expected more kind of recent history, sports and, you know, TV personalities. If I was doing this for real, I would be in such a panic. Like, um, without Lennox there sort of picking up the pieces that I don't know, that would be, first of all, 50% of the correct answers would not have been there. So I think if it was... The defining moment between me being able to be a British citizen and sort of maintain and like get that sort of security to stay in the country or not, that would be a big stress. It it was kind of a laugh doing it like that as kind of almost like a pub quiz vibe. But I think if you had a kind of exam pressure on that and you actually had like your future resting on it as to whether you could like be a British citizen or not based on that. It would be quite an intense experience. I feel like most people don't know 75% of those questions. So the idea that someone coming from abroad would have to know those seems a bit a bit nonsensical. And yeah, like Cammy said, it's a lot of the things within that, like just things that I don't know, things that didn't really get taught at school that I wonder how can like if most British people wouldn't know them how can you expect anyone else to know them and like base their right to be a British citizen on that it seems a bit a bit hypocritical to expect people to know things that we don't and to call those like the British values yeah history history is important I think um to understand how a country has got to where it is but I feel like again it's that sort of I feel like a lot of people don't know how the country has got to where it is today. And so the idea of expecting other people to know what you don't know seems a bit, it doesn't sit right with me. Um, However, yeah, maybe that's a thing that we should improve as a whole country, um, improve our knowledge of our history, um, rather than just making people who are moving here know about it. I think there's more important things um, in terms of integration. Integrating is about, you know, speaking the language, being able to contribute to your community, meeting people. It's, It's about being known in a community and, you know, being part of a community. That's integration and being accepted. And 
knowing things doesn't necessarily help that. The fact that a lot of the things that we did know from it were like things that we had come across like in pub quizzes in like BBC iPlayer in in like knowing about various political things like does kind of suggest being exposed to like I don't know like the BBC news or something or like when you see like prime minister's questions or something like you kind of pick up bits of that and I think in a way some of those questions we were more able to answer from our exposure to certain bits of British culture like that that said I think you could like like we were saying like you could just like kind of binge revise them all and not know who any of these people were or any of these things were and equally you could have lived in Britain for a while and like you could like be completely British and like have lived here your whole life and not know quite a lot of these things and not have had any reason to so I don't think this is although I think like although integration might help answering some of these questions I don't think this is an accurate measure or like a complete measure of how well integrated you are. I guess this kind of quiz is sort of the best attempt that people have come up so far with getting people to know a few facts that might come up or history that might seem relevant. Um, I don't know what I would do to improve it. It's I, I appreciate it's not perfect, but I can see what it's trying to do. Um, I've tried to answer these questions. I'm very aware I know very little about the context <laughs> of this test. And I know I feel like I should know more about, actually about the immigration system and what actually is involved is, I guess, there's this test, but I don't know what other things sort of come in into play. Um, so, yeah. If you enjoyed that, give the video a like and please click the subscribe button for more great content. Until next time, bye for now.